Oh, this is Blake Cousins, third phase of Moon. Okay, third phase of Moon. Lance Robinson, you got my footage? Oh, Lance, you're just, uh, we got, we we're talking via Skype about an hour ago and it just came in and we're just about to look over it right now. Uh, Lance, we're gonna, we're looking at it. Let's just, uh, okay, we get a lot of footage of third phase. I mean, this is gonna be the first time we've ever seen this footage. Stand by, Lance. We're looking at a photograph. Or, you took this photo or what's going on in this? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I my God. I myself and, you know, uh, I, you, you tell me what you think. I, I think that this is military. I, I don't know if this is military drone or this is uh, another intelligence or another life form. I've never seen anything like this, but I, when I was shooting it, I was looking away from the camera and looking at it, and then I looked at it again, and I'm not sure what it is, but I, I know that this is something that's just... You look at it, you tell me. Oh, oh, we're looking at it right now, and we're not... Brent, have you ever seen anything like this before? This is... I want to ask a question. This is some of the best footage I've ever seen. Oh, okay, Brent. My first okay. reaction was this is a military drone. But then when I look back to play back the footage and when I put my eye away from the camera and I look at it again, I thought, no, we don't have the technology to do something like this. Let me ask you, Lance, was this thing making any sound or any sound whatsoever? How big do you think it was? No sound whatsoever. No sound. It was just me shooting my camera at the school where we had soccer game going on and suddenly looking over our shoulder, there was this craft. And at first we thought it was military, but then looking again, this is not military. Uh, well, you know, Lance, this is, uh, you know, we're Thanksgiving night. We just got back home from dinner with the family and uh, we're just looking at this footage right now, breaking news. And uh, we're about to release it right here at Third Phase of Moon. What you know, what, what part of the country was this shot? This is in Colorado. This is outside Denver, about two and a half hours outside of Denver. I don't want to say any more than that because I don't even know what this is. I don't know what I had. I just got it. I talked to a friend of mine. He said if I want to post it, send it to you guys. And you guys can tell me what the hell this is. Because, you know, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of excited. But, uh, you know, this is something. I, 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 like you say, it's, it's, it's just bizarre. I don't know what to say. Wow, we're just uh, we're gonna share it with the viewers. We uh, want everybody to comment below of what they think it is because we think with over a, almost approaching 130,000 subscribers, over 80 million views, the world is watching. There's people that might know something. They've captured something that looks exactly like this. Uh, Lance, I really want to thank you for sharing this incredible footage. But uh, Brent, Brent, you got a question over here, Brent? It seems like you're traveling in a car. Who was a passenger? Tell us the situation be right before you saw this and just give us your basic reaction of what what happened. We were coming from a soccer game. We had all the kids in the car. We started to fool around with the video camera to see how it would work. We're shooting scenes at the school and then up in the sky we'd come upon this object. We thought it was military testing. We couldn't play it back. This is not military testing. This is something else. I'm really excited. I am a little scared. I'm a little happy. I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I'm just glad you guys are there to maybe show this to other people and tell me what the heck it is. I don't know if I've done something wrong or done something right. We just want to know what the heck we got here. Well, Lance, you've uh, done exactly what it takes to get the word out. And it, the best way to do this is exactly the way it is. Get it out to as many people as fast as you can. You capture something incredible. Is this some kind of- how to get a hold of me. You can follow up with me and tell me what I got here and what this is and what I do next. Well, that's definitely what Third Phase of Moon is all about. We will be keeping in touch with you, Lance, and uh, giving you the feedback. And we're going to even ourselves get a closer look at this, find out what it is. We're enhancing it right now. We have uh, you know, find it absolutely incredible. This is one of the most astonishing UFO videos I've ever seen. UFO unidentified. We're not saying they're little green men flying them, but exactly. We don't know what this is. Let me, I got to ask you the question. Is this, uh, you know... Is this CGI? I just got to put it out there. People might say it's a CGI effect. No, this is the camera, the home camcorder we use to shoot our kids at soccer games. This is not all this is. All oh, right, Lance, uh, you know, we're looking at it close and we don't see any deceit. This thing looks to be approximately maybe about 10 to, you know, 15 feet in diameter. And with, uh, with what's going on underneath it is what's absolutely fascinating to me. It's, we're enhancing it right now. And there's like apparatus or something that I've never, it doesn't make any sense to me. There's no moving parts, but there's something, it just, there are moving parts, Brent. What's going on you here? Tell us. 
Did, did, what, did it look like there's anything moving under here, underneath the craft? No, there's definitely something moving. Again, we thought it was military when we first saw it because the way it was moving and the speed of it was moving, it seemed to be moving in a time frame that was different than normal reality. Then we played it back on the video and we looked at it again, and it seemed to be different than how we originally experienced it, but there was no sound whatsoever. It moved silently, and it seemed to get bigger the further it moved away, if that makes any sense. And there were things going on underneath it. You might see different parts where it's spinning, but it's not spinning in like real time. It's spinning in a distorted way, and you could see through it. It was translucent at times, in a way that you can't even see it on the video. But there are certain sections that you could see where it spins, you could see through it. So it looked like it was an object that defied gravity, and the fact that it was so massive and heavy, that it was moving at a rate of speed that was different than anything we've ever seen before. Not like a bird or a plane or anything. It seemed to like move it in the sky in a different way. It, it was scary and exciting at the same time. Well, uh, you know, you captured something, a moment in history, the window of opportunity could be only about 10 to 20 seconds you were driving by, you managed to capture something quite amazing. Bob Lazar uh, talks about this anti-gravity technology. It has this wobble kind of thing that it was, it's just not absolutely stable, but he says, Bob Lazar, when these aircraft or these whatever they are, these uh, alien technology flying saucers, they kind of are in a wobble when they're in that slow state of speed but once they get going then they really start to stabilize uh brett any last questions here for lance just investigative reporting i want to know what happened to the whatever it was floating in the sky in front of you it seemed to you guys drove past it and the building covered this object did you ever try to get another opportunity to film it no, we never got another opportunity. It was gone. It was gone as quickly as it appeared. It appeared in the sky, massive. Then it disappeared just as, it just, it just vanished. It was like a flick of a screen, a switch. It was gone. And it was unexplainable because of its mass and its size, its spinning motion and the time frame, the fact that there was no sound whatsoever. All right, Lance, this has uh, been a groundbreaking 2013 Thanksgiving breaking news special right here at Third Phase of Moon. Lance, you keep uh, your camera close to you over there in Colorado and keep in touch, and we'll be keeping in touch with you and keeping you updated of what uh, the analysis is of this video. Right, right Listen, guys, please follow up with me again. I want to know what's going on here. I need some answers. Like I said, we're excited, we're happy, we're scared, we're thinking we hit the lottery, but... This is just bizarre. We, we, we're, we're, we, we want the answers. Hopefully you guys can help us. All right, Lance. Well, we will be keeping in touch. And if anybody out there has captured anything in the Colorado area that's anything similar to this or UFOs in general around the world, Third Phase of Moon is a place to send it. And you could do it via Skype or Facebook, Third Phase of Moon. My name's Blake Cousins, and we'll see everybody again next time.
hazard. 